Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, so I figured I'd better get an update. Uh, this is our new demon car that we've been building. It's a combination of a new car 4545 and the demon car controller. This is our custom printed control panel with all of our uh, master power, vacuum power, our e stop, our pause and resume buttons for our CNC JS. Our touch panel controller so that we can operate all of our macros for CCJS. Now you may have noticed that on the Demon Carve we have a 2.2 kilowatt air cooled spindle and we're also running a dust boot. The problem with the dust boot is that if you leave it on and you try to home it's going to smash against this bottom panel here so we've made our own custom standoff so that it'll home right up against our edge this is the demon controller we've got all of our wires coming off of it for our probes our spindle control all of our axes. You may have also noticed our custom rail guards here. We've done this to, I do a lot of acrylic and we've done this to keep some of the acrylic out of the linear rails and off the lead screws. I've still got to do the other side but again, we're, we're still in progress here. Now you notice up here in the front, this is my uh, bit setter. This is, uh, if you wanna use a bit change in the middle of your program, this is where it comes to do it. And just a little FYI, I did have a water-cooled spindle that would ground through the spindle when I'm doing my, uh, my touch-offs but uh found out the hard way that the air cooled spindle does not ground through the spindle so you do have to add the magnet to the spindle just like in my last cncjs video all the macros you can still program uh it's almost identical you just got to remember that the the uh coordinates on the X car, the uh, new car, we're going to go in the positive direction since it homes in the left front. And then on the Shapoko, the Shapoko over there, it homes in the right rear. So all your coordinates are going to be negative. So just keep that in mind when you're programming your, your uh, macros here. We still have a little ways to go on our enclosure. I don't believe I'm actually going to enclose it. I think I'm going to leave it open and just uh, finish trimming out the bottom section. With our vacuum system, we don't have a whole lot of dust. And since it's so big, it's easier to get around it if I leave it open. I do have to create a, uh, a sling for my vacuum hose and my spindle cable, but this is working for now. We still have our custom spool board that we can use our edge guides and our hold down clamps on. Uh, of course, it's a lot bigger than it used to be. This one's a little over 45 inches um, working area. I can actually take the, the knock plate off of here and I could actually get over 52 inches on this one. Some of the pros of this machine, obviously the size. You're able to do much larger cuttings and carvings and engravings than you could have done on the Shapoko machine. The rigidity, the rigidity of this machine is very good. The Y rails actually sit flush, so there's no, no movement there. The X gantry is very, very sturdy with dual linear rails and the lead screw. 
Now here's one con that I'm not a big fan of. The Z plate is pretty thin and I can just move this and you see the movement in the spindle. I wanna to touch on the electronics real quick. We are using some solid state relays along with some uh, magnetic relays which I'm using 12 volts to run my solid state relays. And those solid state relays are run off the 12 volt switches which are up here on your control board. Your master switch basically turns everything on. Um, these are wired directly into the demon controller. And then your vacuum power is 12 volt switch running to a solid state relay for your, your 120 for your vacuum. As far as the machine goes, it's pretty solid. Um, so far, I'd give it an A-. Um, now, as for the website, they were pretty solid as well. Um, help was pretty good. Now, they do have a owner's group that they ask you to join. Now, that group I, have, I was not a big fan of. There's a few guys that want to post on everybody's comments there that uh, are not very supportive. There's a couple of bobs there that want to harass everybody. And to me, the whole point of these groups and for these these videos like I'm doing is to help people. They shouldn't be afraid to ask questions. So I was uh, not in that group long before I was asked to leave for sticking up for another member. Overall, I think the build is going well. We still have a few minor things to finish up. I'm going to try to update my website in the blog section and try to add the... 3D printer files for the demon guards, also for the standoff plate for the dust boot. I'll add links down in the description to that blog when I get it uh, posted. I'll also add a quick schematic of the electronics for the demon carve and for the uh, solid state relays, stuff like that on the blog. If you have any questions, please ask them. I do get back into the comments as much as possible. Uh, try to answer everyone that I can. Uh, thank you guys for watching and like and subscribe if this helped you at all. And I'll keep you updated on how the build's going. Have a great day.